Hey guys, I wanted to show you my hair. It's actually really wavy and curly today. So that's kind of fun. But this is the length it's at, not brushed. I showered last night, let it air dry. And so it's just, when it's brushed, it's maybe even longer and not when it's not like wavy, but I'm getting tired of it. So I'm ready for a cut and I really would love to dye my hair like a light brown in some way and then I want money pieces because that would really pop like blonde money pieces because I feel like it would really pop but thing is we're broke I'm in nursing school and I also think some little highlights here and there would, would really look so cute um, anyways, I'm in nursing school and you're not allowed to dye your hair unless it's natural colors and I feel like these will all be natural colors and I have naturally usually in the summer like blonde little money pieces but they're not as thick obviously so that is the plan. I'm tired of the hair so this is a hair cutting video and hopefully dyeing video. I have to go get dye though and find the scissors that I haven't been able to find in like a year because I hid them for myself so I wouldn't cut my hair. Hey, I figured I'd start brushing my hair after we've gotten all the product. Look at it! And she's going to be sleeping by the time I actually get to my hair so I'll have to rebrush my hair but I was going to tell you the plan. plan is dyeing my hair brown because my hair has been this is all natural. It's kind of a dirty strawberry blonde, so it's not all good colors. My biggest problem with that is that it's a little more red or orange. So, mm, wanting it to be different, ready for change. I'm also in nursing school, so I can't change it, but I read through the policy and it can't be something unnatural. Money pieces are natural. I have money pieces that turn blonde in the summer, so. Now that I've read through the guidelines, let's, I'll show you guys what we got. I'm going to cut my hair to like two to three inches. So I'm going to cut it before we start dyeing too. I do want to trim up the face framing, which I'll use the Brad Mondo method, but we'll get to that in a little bit. May even be a while, but see, this is the hair. Long, boring. I do have some face framing, but it's not perfect. Um, so it's looking like I'm just I'm I'm bored. You know, it's long. I put it up all the time because I'm always going to work. I want something different. I can't go pink or light purple. So I have my hair cutting scissors, some gloves, because I'm a nursing student, so I have some old um, testing out probably on how to stir a glove. And Zach picked me up this cup so I can actually stir in all my stuff to, uh, you know, hairbrush, hair, what do you want to call it? Whatever to lay, lather my hair with. Okay, so this is going to be the blonde money pieces. The lady I had, I asked her, told her what I wanted, and she helped me. It says Shimmer Lights Plexi Light, light Lightener. I can't even talk. She recommended two just in case um, because of how long my hair is, but I told her I was cutting it, you know, to here, and then I'd be doing face framing pieces. So we'll see. Uh, and then she said to match it with 20 volume. So that's what we'll be doing for that. For the hair dye, I also looked up and Brad, I watched your video, okay? So it makes me automatically an expert, right? Um, that's what I told the lady, right? Um, I knew to get a volume 10. And then I also got this color. Let's see, it's Medium Ash Blonde by Ion. So I went to Sally's Beauty, okay? It says Demi permanent hair color, which is perfect. I guess you're just gonna have to wait and see because this doesn't do it justice. So we'll mix these together. I also have tips from Brad 
I am going to be starting with the mid hair section down to the ends. And then I'll go back and do the roots and I'm going to try to section as best I can the four sections of my hair. So that way I'm doing the back and then the sides. Okay, we're gonna follow the Brad Mondo Flawless Curtain Bang. Um, so I'm going with my normal part where he says to go two inches back with a triangle. about a triangle okay so it's not perfect because his model had like her hair in the middle but we're gonna try it so that's what my triangle sections look like he says to go across the face and putting your hair elastic and then scooting it down and trying to get rid of that piece going down to the corner of your mouth and then cutting gonna look better styled not like this <laughs> yay but that's all it's doing exactly what I want it's beautiful I'm also gonna divide my hair which is crazy I know Brad Bond is probably gonna be in this video being like if he's to watch this ever he's probably be like that wasn't enough <laughs> Yeah, mommy hair. You know what we would like to do? Let me do hair. Yeah, we're gonna cut more. Lily, look, we're gonna cut more. Leave it there. Cut here, Issa. We wanted it two to three inches shorter, maybe. Here we go. It's not perfect, but this is gonna Mommy. be less to die. This is so crazy the cut. Ew. Lily, do you need to go back out there with daddy? I'm sorry, Brad, but I'm also not going to listen to the fact that I should section my hair in the middle. Um, so we're going to continue on. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm like trying to do this section. And I don't care about this shirt, so if anyone's like, oh my gosh, she's wearing such a nice shirt. Um, I just like never wear this shirt. It's going to be looking crazy before it gets good. So I followed most of Brad Mondo's advice. I did learn a lot and took notes, so. This and half as well. Looking crazy. This is the hair sectionings that I'm going to do to be dyeing all of the hair. Except for my pieces when we get there. Good enough. Now that I look crazy, we're gonna get into the mixing. I already read the directions, Brad Mondo. Okay, be proud of me for reading. That's satisfying. So um, I'm going to use all, both of my tubes, because they're two ounces, and then all four ounces of this 
volume 10 developer because that's what it, the recipe calls for. I could definitely see why I'm going to need two tubes because it seems like you're buying a lot and then you get there and then you have to squeeze a tube like this and that's just, that's some hard work. I also read the other directions of how long to leave it in your hair. And that is for 20 to 25 minutes. Have you started? I just started mixing all oh, the God. stuff. Oh God, is that too much? No, all of it, I need all of that. Why, what? what? Seems like a lot. <laughs> well. All right, well, if your hair catches on fire or anything crazy happens, it's holler. I need to mix it all. That's going to be the hardest part, you guys, mixing it. Okay, I'll come back to you when I've mixed it all. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad, and I think it's the toner that smells fairly decent. <laughs> this is so good. Still a lot of time. Just kidding. I'm just going to put it close. I kind of like that these go pretty long, because I was kind of like, oh no, what if it only goes like your wrist? Like, it's kind of annoying, and... Here I am with these surgical gloves that go to your mid-arm. These are nice. Yeah. Brad said to start mid-hair. One bad thing is I'm kind of like Jenna Marblesing it right now and like flinging things everywhere, kind of like her red hair dye video. Lots of stress that go into this. You're like, oh no, instant regret. Like, I'm a child. I should have had a baby or a baby. I'm a child. I should have had an adult do this.
try to wash out this piece a little bit just in case because I had some of the dye on there. That's what it's looking like. I'm also going to dye my hair brow hair brows. My what hair brows. She's been putting her mouth. Brows are done. I read the directions. I have about 10 minutes, so I'm going to do the lightener part. Back at it again. It says two parts of the developer versus the one part of this. This looks scary because it's blue. So I'm gonna mix that, see where it's at. A little bit more. Three beautiful pur purpley, light purple color. Don't have time. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to do the ends. <laughs> guys i decided that it's light enough i'm done with the lightener i'm not going to go in and touch it up a little bit i probably could have done a little more blonde there because uh, it's more dramatic on this side but that's okay um i like it it's fun i'll insert some pictures and then when i go to pull it up for a ponytail let's see if i can show you this if i go to pull it up for a ponytail some light pieces falling down. It's really fun. And to make it look more natural, I could literally just wear a headband and, you know, the nursing school doesn't like it. Sorry about it. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you guys all liked it and I didn't disappoint Brad Mondo. Let's go look at another lighting. Another lighting, what it looks like. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope that this doesn't look too crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!